This is just a short term, uh, I call it the nightmare of agriculture. The nightmare of agriculture. This was in the 30s, 1930s. So if science and technology, it seems like, was about to bring uh, new abundance and leisure to the world. And who would want to go back? Yes, of course, the modern society, and especially the people that are making money, the economics are geared towards everything that natural farming is not. It's exactly going in the other direction, supporting the materialistic lifestyle, not caring about the degradation of the landscape or what happens to other forms of life. It goes, now, these are all the products of this human world. Okay. And it is a big obstacle to, to accepting natural farming or going to live a, a life like this. And it's a big obstacle to people changing their own way of thinking because people are invested in that world. And they spent their lives becoming experts at certain things which uh, probably have no real value because they're not connected to nature or to the real world. Um, so how are we gonna change those things? Boy, um, I like to live in the natural, real world as much as possible. But if I'm out, but of course I grew up I grew up in Los Angeles. I'm a city boy. I grew up in the same schools and have the same background and cultural indo indoctrination, cultural values that pretty much exist now worldwide. There's no frame of reference. There's no fixed point that you can say this is, this is real. This is true. We can base all of our other decisions on this. There is no such thing in the world of human thought. And people try desperately to establish, they long for that. They try to establish something, you know, whether it's, let's say, humanism or the arts or some kind of religious dogma. It becomes, okay, this I know is real, and then I'll make all of my decisions based on this fixed point. But it could be any fixed point, really. It's just things people are thinking up. So for Fukuoka, the fixed point is nature itself, reality. The way that, that helped me was I started looking at my thoughts. And I went through the same process as Fukuoka used to establish the natural farming. But whenever I saw a thought that just seemed like so automatic, of course that's true, then I said, well, wait a minute, where did that come from? Is that really true? Uh, do we really need to continue to grow progress? Is progress a really good thing? I mean, we're to progress, of course. We need to progress. And so I went through this process of evaluating and one by one, almost all of those things that I had grown up uh, believing was the truth. And some of these were, a lot of them were cultural. Like we're, the need to expand all the time. We need modern agriculture to feed the growing population. Boy, growth is a good thing. Science will find an answer, no matter what the challenge. Science will find an answer. I no longer believe these things. And you know what? It's left a whole lot of room. It's left a whole lot of room. I don't, you know, I see an article in the newspaper about science has found out some new thing about nutrition, or, you know, the rover just landed it's the rover, which is called Curiosity, just landed on Mars. I don't care. I think it's the most the ridiculous thing ever. So I don't have to read those articles. I don't have to clutter up my head with any of that stuff. And then that puts me, oh, there's a lot more room to, to see and experience. If you're a farmer, this is not that farming is any, intrinsically any better than other uh, vocations, but with farming, you're out in the fields all the time. You're interacting with the plants and soil and the insects and the other creatures. So you're right there. The chance of having uh, this experience 
is so much greater when you're in the natural world than when you're, for example, sitting at a desk in a cubicle. Because all you see around you is the human things, the products of human thought. And so it's hard to imagine the world outside of that. So what are the benefits of natural farming? Well, of course, you learn to feed and clothe your family in a way that in which the, the earth is enriched. You become partners again with the other forms of life. And, even, and then there's this upwelling of great joy. What's not to like, really? Except that you have to, you do pretty much have to give up the materialistic um, uh, toys, which really have no place in that world. So you, you didn't need to make a commitment, a commitment. And then, so in your personal life, how do you make this transition? Well, I've kind of found it useful to follow the same technique. How about if we're not doing this and not doing that in the form of, well, of course, in your personal life, living as simply as possible. And there's great freedom and joy in living simply. It's called voluntary simplicity. So, of course, there's that. And there's changing the light bulbs in your house and things. But it's in the thoughts. Essentially, it's the same process that the Zen is trying to get to the same point where you're living and you're one with everything. Uh, and the people that teach pottery and teach uh, all of the arts in Japan are based on this idea that you come to a place in which there's no qualities and no thought and you are one with everything. And uh, if you're studying pottery, then of course it makes you a better person. It's a good thing. But at the end, you're left with a pot. With natural farming, you become a better, more joyful person, but you're also providing for your own livelihood. You're growing what you need to eat. And it also has the ability to heal. Using the, you know, in the real world, it's using the soil building combinations of plants and doing things that make the landscape more abundant than it was before. Um, and it also has the ability to heal the human spirit. So you're going to edit this? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Um. And so this is a, this is a, you're filming, huh? That's a yeah. funny how they, Look different now. That looks just like a camera. Yeah. Sorry about that. But you told me you're going to be able to edit. Yeah. So something like that is easy, right? Or like this. Yeah.